Hey there, thanks so much for inviting me to the panel today and sorry I couldn't be there in person. I did just want to say a few words about um, the story I wrote last year that I was invited to come and speak about. Um, it was called How President Duterte Used Facebook to Fuel the Philippine Drug War. Um, and really it's a story about how Facebook can infiltrate every level of a vulnerable democracy and what happens when when that comes to pass. Um, so the situation in the Philippines has a lot of parallels to the fake news situation on Facebook in the US. But the breadth of the fake news problem might be even worse over there because the institutions that are supposed to be able to fight back are much weaker than they are in the US. So I live in New York now, but a couple of years ago, while visiting my family in the Philippines, my home country where I grew up, I was alarmed at how credulous people were while reading positive Facebook posts about Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte, who's pushed a brutal war on drugs that has killed more than 12,000 Filipinos since he took office. There's a whole network of influencers propping him up and using his popularity to raise their own profiles. All of this happens on Facebook. And meanwhile, they harshly critique any opponents of the president, leading to the undermining of an online news site called Rappler, led by Maria Ressa, and referred to by Duterte as a fake news outlet. The ousting of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court and the jailing of a senator who had loudly opposed Duterte's position on drugs. Facebook's algorithms have propped up Duterte and his cohorts, and his side continues to be the dominant point of view on the platform in the Philippines. After my reporting on this, Facebook announced that it had removed 200 pages, groups, and accounts that engaged in coordinated, inauthentic behavior on Facebook and Instagram in the Philippines, pages and accounts that were linked to a network organized by President Duterte's social media director during his presidential campaign. Still, if you look at Facebook posts from the Philippines today, fake news continues to proliferate, and much of it is targeted at Duterte's critics. Facebook has a long way to go, and much more complicity that it has yet to admit if it wants to fix online discourse on its platform in the Philippines.